On 11th of March 2020, the COVID-19 outbreak was declared a global pandemic by the World Health Organization. Over the course of the past year, everyone has been required to regularly wash their hands, stay six feet apart, and wear a face covering to help reduce the spread of COVID-19. One major concern through lockdowns to suppress this virus was the increase of animal theft, illegal puppy farms, and animal abuse. With the increase of people wanting to buy pets during lockdown, this has led to an alarming rise in illegal puppy farms. Not only is this an ongoing issue, but due to lockdowns, there has also been a major increase in the price of pets. On the topic of animal theft, there has also been a major increase with reports on dog theft around the country. It is estimated that over 200 dogs have been stolen in the past 11 months, and this is still a current ongoing issue and is still on the rise to this date. I have three dogs. Max, Raven, and Snowball. And I rescued them a few years ago. We spoke with a woman who adopted two kittens in the town of Balna in County Mayo. I spoke to her about the experiences with the process of adoption. He's happy I'm now, aren't you? On the camera. Oh, the purrs. I had been wanting to get a pet for a while, and I suppose with COVID and all the lockdowns that we've been having, I've been spending a lot of time at home um, on my own, and I just thought getting a pet would be better so I'd have a bit of company. Um, so my partner and myself decided that we were going to get two kittens. And the reason we decided to get rescue kittens um, instead of buying them was because there were so many cats and kittens in my area that were looking for a home and I'd rather give a home to pets in need rather than funding all the pet farms that are going on in the country at the minute. I saw a post on Facebook from the Northwest SPCA um, showing two gorgeous little black kittens that were looking for a forever home. And when I saw them, I just thought they were the cutest things ever. And I messaged the page straight away and I asked her to send on some pictures. And straight away when I saw them, I knew that they belonged in our family. The kittens were found dumped down the Kalala Road near the meat factory. Um, a person came across a bag and inside the bag were four very sick black little kittens. Uh, so someone found the kittens and brought them to Moy Veterinary, which are an affiliate of the Northwest SPCA. So that is where I got the kittens from. So when we got the kittens, um, they were both named Hugo and Herbie. Since they're brothers, um, so we decided to call them Thor and Loki. And although they look the same, they're two very different boys. Tor is our little baby of the family. Like that's how you can only describe him. Instead of sitting on your lap, he has to be cradled in your arms, wrapped in a blanket, getting all the kisses and cuddles. Um, and Loki is just another little character altogether. He's full of devilment. Um, he's the cheekier of the two. He loves messing around. He loves playing. Um, he likes to do his own thing. Um, but on his terms then, when he wants to come up for cuddles, he'll come up and he'll, he likes to sit on your lap. He's a nice little lap cat. I definitely plan on rescuing more animals in the future. Even now, I find it hard not to get another cat. Um, but with living in an estate house, it just wouldn't be feasible to get another pet at the minute. Um, but once we move out to the country in the next few years, I definitely plan on rescuing at least one more cat and I would love to give a home to a rescue dog as well. So yeah, when I first got them, I didn't realise how crazy they'd be, but they're absolutely bonkers. 
every day it's like they're wired and for two tiny little creatures I never would have imagined them making so much noise The kittens have helped me so much through lockdown. Um, my partner works um, on shift and I'm off Monday to Friday, so I'm home alone five days a week. And honestly, it's just so nice having them. Sometimes I feel like I'm going crazy when I'm on my own. So at least when I have them there, there's always just something there to be chatting away to and something always to cuddle if I need it, um, someone to play with. So my time is definitely filled up every day and it's definitely not boring anymore. The two of them are always here together and they're never alone. And they just have that companionship and the fact that they're brothers is even better. Thor and Loki have changed my life in the most positive way possible. I didn't know that I could just get such love and joy from cats. Um, if I'm having a bad day, they can just come up and cuddle me or they can just do something daft, like by jumping up on the door or something like that. And it honestly can just change the whole way my day is going. Um, the experience of adopting a rescue animal was so positive and it was very straightforward and easy. Um, I'd recommend it to anyone who was thinking about getting a pet to go down the route of adopting rather than buying. Um, so for the two kittens we paid a 50 euro adoption fee per cat um, but they came vaccinated, wormed, vet checked and the nutrient is included as well. So it was it's so good that you get all that for just 50 euro per animal. Um, they were so happy when they came to us. They weren't scared at all. So we knew that before we adopted them, they were being cared for so well in their foster home. So I definitely would recommend it to everyone to adopt rather than buy.